everybody, this is Jose with Oakland Latinos United, aka Oakland Latinos Unidos, out here with another video of Barrio Tours in Modesto. I'm going to let Masatal, where I'm over here kicking it with him, narrate the video like he did the west side. So now we're in another side of town. Where are we at? This is Crow's Landing. This is south side Modesto or deep south side Modesto. And this is what, a barrio? This is a barrio. You got the, the mobile, mobile courts or the trailer parks right here mm -hmm. off to the right slow down a little bit you got the lines bridge so you got people that used to live there this was uh that was always a little battle right here you got the sheriff right there and you got the industrial part kind of like deep east oakland right here and there was a, a cop who flipped over his cop car with another sheriff and they died here a long time ago no it was like two three years ago uh, you got the x4 deep south side Monteños. says it all welcome to their territory here. You got the 99 that cuts through as an artery uh, highway that we have here, just like the five, just like the 99, so on and so forth. You got a lot of car dealerships. You can have the Mexican flag for the, the Raza out here. This is known as Little Tijuana, Little TJ, Little Mexico. And you're gonna start having the stores. Now, if you remember Robert Grattan's book, he talked about a murder that somebody in the NF committed uh, one of the uh, butcher shops that was in this field right here. One of the guys from the NF killed a prostitute and he left her there. She wrote his name in mud. I believe it was here because there used to be a slaughterhouse here that were slaughter animals. So this is Crow's Landing Street. As you can see, this is the tail end of it. But we came through the iconic bridge that needs repairs. You'll have your Mexican store. That place has been there since I was a youngster. And you'll have the school here. There's a couple of schools out here. You'll have a lot of dealerships, a lot of Mexican places, eateries, catering trucks where you can eat and grub. You have liquor stores, gas stations. So this is what kind of like fruit bar mission kind of, kind of, kind of like uh, those type of areas. These Costeca, that's been there since I was a young. Yeah, they used to have a these Costeca in Sacramento when I used to live. You have seen a lot of places where you can eat. Uh, and then they have a smaller arch. Let me let me switch lanes here. We're coming up right here on Hatch Road. There's going to be a little arch right there that says Modesto. Bienvenidos oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. a Modesto. They put that in a few years ago. So this is called what? Crow's Landing? Crow's Landing, the reservation like the Native American people. You know, Crow's Landing where the crows come to land. There's been a lot of shootings right there at that bar taco place i had a homie that got hit there a couple years now we're going on amador avenue right by where the old people know where it used to be the tapatia market but it's not it's not guadalajara so this is around the area if i'm not mistaken where mike Servin grew up at like jesus christ jesus christ <laughs> and my uncle had a uh back in the 80s 84 85 he had a place that he rent he rented him and his wife you guys look there's a lot of graffiti a lot of weeds a lot of cars out a lot of people out in the streets youngsters and this is west side modesto or deep uh, pardon me not west side modesto somebody got killed there this is uh deep south side modesto you know seattle street uh amador street there's dallas street crow's landing there's different parts of it but you'll have, wherever you have poverty, you're going to have gangs, drugs, violence. Uh, let's see what street this is. Oh, man, it's all faded. Portland. Portland Street. Portland Street. No sidewalks here either? No sidewalks. So for the people that say we got it bad in Deep East Oakland, there's other people that have it worse. There's other people that have it worse with stray animals and... and uh, no sidewalks, you know. Some places have septic tanks, some places don't. Still be like that out here? Someone look at that alley, look at the lawnmower. <laughs> well, do people still have outhouses out here? <laughs> some places had septic tanks, and I think most of them probably don't. Oh, okay. This is Denver Street. Yeah, just, you know, good. This is, this is the neighborhood. You know, this is just a small piece of it. I don't want people saying, well, like, oh, you know, you don't gangbang. You don't live out here, you know, blah, 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 man. 
doesn't matter, bro, what you think. If you don't like it, make your own video. You know, cry me a river, bro. We're just putting out the awareness. Basically, you know? the barrio tours. Yeah. Showing the different heads. I have roots out here, and I don't have to fly a red rag or get tatted out with tattoos on my face to say that I'm from here or I have roots. You know, uh, I don't have to do all that. And that's the point of this video, to put the awareness. Same with me. You know, I'm from the town, and sometimes people say, oh, your videos, you're not saying the right thing or you're not representing the hood the way it's supposed to be. But like, dude. I'm doing what I gotta do, bro, and that's it. Rasa, you will never make Rasa happy, bro. Yeah. You'll never make him happy, no matter what you do, how you do. Uh, you know, I was gonna take him down on Bystrom, old school barrio, and, and, and over there off of uh, 9th Street, but it's just not enough time to go to all the hoods. Poverty's poverty, whether it's Oakland, Modesto, Stockton, Sacramento, Fresno, San Jose, it's everywhere. It's what you do about it, you know? You feel sorry for yourself, or you can fucking regulate. You know what I mean? You got your liquor stores everywhere, you know? Uh, and yeah, this is this is the hood, and pretty pretty much run down compared to what I remembered as a youngster. Um, basically, what you're gonna start seeing here is just people hanging out outside, and, and just you know. Trying to trying to get that good beer, or try to get that hit of the rock or some weed, or or just go to work. And you Make said none a, of that. And you said a lot of people from the Bay Area live up here too, right? A lot of Bay Area people have been transitioning out here since probably the '80s. San Jose, Oakland. Now you're going to have a lot of San Francisco people. Not necessarily they live here uh, on this street. There's another infamous street right here, Dallas Street, big uh, barrio back in the days, Dallas Street. I, I forgot to take you to Vernon Street, too. But these were some of the infamous uh, neighborhoods or streets, just like U Stick uh, and a few other streets in Modesto, where, you know, gangs and drugs and poverty ruled the land. You can still see the remnants. As the smoke clears, you have faded graffiti, beat down cars, and at the end of the day, the bank owns everything. The bank got all this. You know, the realtors got all this. The city got all this. This was a hard street, Dallas Street. My uncle lived on uh, at the end of Dallas Street. He said in the 80s, they were having all kinds of drive-bys. That starts getting a little bit better because you have uh, the newer housing developments. Mm, yeah, see, I can see a change. They got sidewalks here. Yeah, they got sidewalks. They got street lamps. You know, they got, you know, regular... Uh, so back there, they don't have street lamps? Some of them do and some of them don't. Uh, okay. I don't remember seeing yeah, too many. Yeah, but this is this was Dallas Street. Is that a field over there? Yeah, that's an orchard. Okay. So the difference between a field and an orchard, an orchard, you're going to have trees. You're going to have uh, irrigation. And uh, a field, you're going to have smaller crops. That's what a friend told me that Santa Clara used to look like, like that. There used to be orchards everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of what San Jose used to look like back in the days for those who don't know. <laughs> so this is Crow's Landing, and people said, oh, you left out this street. You left out that street. You didn't say this, that. It'll never be good enough, but, you know, the History Channel does something or gangland, and there's no issue. I know. <laughs> so. And when Rasa does something or black people do something, it's an issue. You're blackballed. Yeah. You didn't say the right things, coulda, shoulda, woulda, but we're putting the awareness out. The flea market's right there. You can see Rematito. Oh, yeah, you guys call them Remate out here, right? Yeah, Remate, yeah. Rematito. And here's the, the other part of uh, Incorporated. There's John Deere. John Deere. Crow's Landing police and all that so the safety centers that way they used to be unincorporated modesto this was incorporated modesto parts of it so the sheriff's on one side and the police on the other basically yeah you're sandwiched yeah. you're in the sandwich so this is crow's landing road crow's landing road modesto california not the city of crow's landing over there by uh newman nufas you know west stanislaus this is mexico yeah so you're gonna have for those that remember the juan foods which is probably closed right now or remodeling. And you had, you know, La Cabaña, a good Mexican restaurant if you ever want to go get some good food. I think you have one Tapatia, La Tapatia store left, but I think they call it something else. I think, here it is. Yeah, no, no, this is the last Tapatia they got right here on the corner. And this was one of the newest ones they had put when I was growing up. This, that one? That one. It it had, La Perla Tapatia. Yeah, La Perla Tapatia, that one. Okay. We would call it La Tapatia, and then the back of the tortillas would have a church with the Catholic cross and the woman. 
Oh, okay. You would have a little raunchy little motel where you want to take your, your you know, your girlfriend and pound her out right <laughs> here on the Oak Motels. Yeah, yeah. You know, quick bust a nut real quick right there. And everything else is industrial. They've built in, instead of just tire sure. shops, you got restaurants. Why, this used to be all industrial? It used to be predominantly. You got like a onion right there, pretty good place. You had Don Juan Foods right here. I know my dad used to take us there religiously. Place been around since the 70s, I think. It's like it's abandoned now. Los Amigos tires and wheels. Yeah, you know, they ain't that, those Amigos with them prices, they're going to charge you. But this is, this is, uh, Crow's Landing. Crow's Landing Road, West Modesto. There's other streets, other places, but. We but just, this is South Modesto, right? This is South Modesto. Okay. And then there's Deep South Side Modesto. Okay. And so West what's, Modesto, Deep West Side Modesto. That's all street, prison, gang talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you look at the neighborhoods on the map, it doesn't say this belongs to this person. It's cut up by different people. No. You know, um, so those that know, know, and those that don't know, don't know. Yeah. You know, but a lot of immigrants came here from uh, the diaspora in the South. A lot of blacks from Louisiana, Texas. A lot of raza that nobody talks about, as quiet as it's kept, from Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Utah, Wyoming. A lot of Chicanos. A lot of people from El Salvador, Guatemala, Mexico. Guadis? Yep, the toad people. <laughs> So you have a mixture of races here, pe Asian people, white people, Oki people that are poor people from Oklahoma. You have all that out here in Modesto. Another, another barrio out here. Olivero. Olivero Street. You know, it's just the, the house on the dirt. We ain't lying, there ain't no street lights around here. <laughs> I don't see any. Yeah, and sometimes people don't pick up the garbage. Uh, the, the city doesn't come out here when it should come out here to clean the street or take the garbage. So this is the poverty that people that people face in the San Joaquin Valley that the Bay Area people aren't knowledgeable of or don't have first account of. Unless they move out here. Unless they move out here. Unless they're out here in the streets doing legalization and, and trying to make some money. You know, trying to turtle fuck people and get some feria. You know. Um, so this is another form of poverty that needs to be put out there for people to learn and adapt. And the sheriffs and the PD will patrol this at night. They'll have maybe one unit or two patrolling this at night. You know, look at this. A burnt up trailer. Burnt up RV. Yeah. And uh, this is... So this is deep south side Augusta? Yeah. Yeah. This is the deep. You have people dumping trash all the time, burning stuff. Uh, and this is just the lifestyle out here of what goes on out here every day when you're struggling in poverty. Maybe your parents can't help you get to you or they believe religion can save you. Whatever it is, stick to something. Do something. Get a job. You know, move out of state. Maybe it's a toxic environment you're in. You need to pluck yourself in. You know, pluck yourself out of. Yeah. The canals have fencing. That wasn't like that back in the 90s or the 80s, for those that know. And um, you have more stores, more Raza stores. See that? You'll have the freeway. Once you cross that freeway, it gets you closer to Barrio and Little OG, but also closer to Ceres. So it's kind of transgender Modesto Ceres. Yeah. One way you go up, by that gas station mobile, you go up, boom. You're in uh, series, and that's where my uncle had a had another house. I have five uncles. One of my uncle had a house over there. My grandma lived for many years, about 20 years, but there was a shooting. He got up, sold, and bought another house in Modesto, in a nicer area, you know? So, things change. Things change out here for the best and for the worst, and you just gotta try to survive it, you know? Um, so this is the what the 99 this is the 99 you could hear a lot of rappers from dark room low down rap about the 99 do so nine puto you know this that the next or the other this is the place this is the artery that they were talking about a lot of uh drug trafficking and people smuggling happens here every day you know and uh you got whitmore over here hernan 
this is uh this barrio over here hatch road and hernan is called uh barrio it's a barrio barrio and little og where the homies from uh, because i had family in this area the old kmart used to be there yeah i see that um 7-eleven right there yeah so this street right here is called little og where your homeboy was from because it's right off of the 99. Which homeboy? The homie, the one that does ceramics in Oakland. Oh, okay. So this is Little OG right oh, here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I know this, what is, you're this is Little OG, and I used to pick up some Puerto Rican chick from this pattern. I don't know what happened to her, but <laughs> we used to go and hang out. This is Little OG right here. This is Barrio Little OG. It button hooks, it snakes over serpentines, and bam. So this is another little barrio? Yeah, then this is barrio. That's little OG, and then you're in barrio. What part of town is this? This is kind of like South Modesto because it's by 9th Street. Uh -huh. So this is the this is South Modesto, not deep South San Modesto. We were in deep South San Modesto. This is South Modesto. Yeah. So you have homes for sale. You have a bunch of trash, refrigerators out. And people rust out here trying to survive trying to pay that rent and, and make that extra payment to try to make it. But you're surrounded by chaos and, mad, and madness in a toxic environment where people aren't really there to help you. People are vulnerable people and people are circling around to prey on you and take advantage of you as a vulnerable person. The liquor stores are on fleek. You know, food desert. You ain't gonna have a, a good place. That's one liquor store. More apartments. Another liquor store, boom. Less than a block away. They got the cold beer and the blood wraps, right? I mean, it's like in Oakland where there's a liquor yeah. store on every corner in the east. You'll have a church, boom. You have a church, Ministerio del Alto. You'll have newer housing developments with Raza in it. You'll have some type of school, a park further out, but you'll just have dire poverty. You'll, yeah. you'll have poverty, people that are poverty stricken, crippled to the bone, you know, that they just, sometimes your parents can't help you survive in this world you know uh depending if your parents are immigrants or they got their own trauma that, you know they're not going to talk about speak on you know what i mean so uh yeah this is this is a uh, barrio right here and for those that know modesto uh we're, we're we're going really quickly here this is a place where i actually have a an aunt that grew up here who married one of my uncles and she came out of this neighborhood. We spent many happy summers, many happy days out here at their house. I'm obviously not going to point out the house because they still, the extended family still lives there. Uh, but the point is, it doesn't matter where you come out of. You can still make it if you keep hope alive and you just don't give up and slide into drugs and gangs. You know, keep that positive mindset and goal orientation to do better for your life. Or, you know or not you know it's the choice is yours yeah man all right child well that was a tour of modesto south side modesto with my homie masaktal this is barrio tours modesto edition hopefully you guys enjoyed that be sure to comment be sure to like you know tell me what you think but uh i always say oakland latinos united and beyond feel me so i came beyond because i don't really know modesto so i came to a place i don't really know bro and film the show y'all so you know me i do the barrios up the bay and the central valley and whenever i'm in any city i like to check out the the raza barrio so this will say what oakland latinos united out